Looking for the cheapest coins on the internet right now? Look no further than my sponsor, Mutt Coin Bank, guys. You seriously cannot beat that value. I promise. Use code Poodle for 5% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm going to be going over the best players at each position, guys. Now, we have gotten a lot of new cards since the last time I made this video. So, figured it was time for an update. All rookie promo, Ultimate Legends, LTDs. Plenty of stuff, guys. And at least in the near, near future, we don't have a big, big, big promo coming. Although, Kratlo did hint, and based on the power-ups that come out today, we could imagine that there will be one. But we don't have exact details on what that is just yet. But, moving on over, guys. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Turn the noti bell. Give this video a big thumbs up, as always, guys. Liking the video and commenting down below does do it. It goes a long way, guys. It goes a long way in helping the channel out. So, always make sure to do both. And, guys, like I said, if you haven't already, check out my new coin sponsor down below, guys. They have some of the cheapest coins on the internet right now. If you use code Poodle, you get an additional 5% off that. You got to check it out. You can get a mil for like 40 bucks, 50 bucks. You can't go wrong. I promise you, you got to check them out. But it's about it for that. Let's head on over to the store. Let's go through everything, guys. And by the way, if you haven't read, I just want to quickly clarify, uh, clarify. You still have the EA Celebration Pack, guys. So make sure you guys are actually going ahead and opening that. If you do, if you did, uh, if you're BA playing, you had it. It is the, you get one free team of the year player, Nat, any player in the whole promo. So make sure you guys are getting that. And if you didn't receive it and you do have EA play, make sure to contact them. You don't want to miss out. It's pretty great. It's a pretty good offer, in my opinion. But um, moving on down to auction browser, let's go check out what players are we going with, right? So you guys know the deal already, right? So when it comes to uh oh, we skip offensive line, punter kicker, right? At the end of the day, those are pretty self-explanatory. Now, quarterback has been kind of a it's all year quarterbacks and kind of an issue, right? Because it's like, what do you want? It, like you have the mindset of last year where you maybe want a super mobile quarterback. And then maybe you have the mindset of this year where you want a pocket passer, but then Brady's too slow, right? And you kind of want a guy that has some mobility. This has been the year of like the mixed, uh, like those West Coast mixed quarterbacks that can like move a little bit and still make great throws. But if we move on down, guys, who is the best quarterback in Madden right now, right? So if we're talking pure passer, pure passer, it may be Brady, it may be Dan Marino, maybe Philip Rivers, you know, it all comes down to preference, release, and so on and so forth. If we're talking about mixed mobility with, uh, Mixed mobility with the ability to pass. Maybe you're all the way down here with Aaron Rodgers. At some point, maybe you're with Josh Allen. The, th the, the issue is this year, it's just so different, guys. So I don't have a direct quarterback for you. I'm going to go over the best few. Now, the issue with uh, Josh Allen is going to be he doesn't get all the accuracy at 95. So I believe he, does not get his, he doesn't get the abilities you're going to want. So, but otherwise, he would have been like probably the best one if he got all that. Then if we move on down again, you have guys like Deshaun Watson. Now, Deshaun Watson, once again, will not get all those passing thresholds. Though I think he does get medium powered up. So he may be able to get somebody who's an improviser so that does hurt his abilities as well. So then you come on down again now. Like I said, Dan Marino, if you're going for just pure passing. Randall Cunningham is actually really good as well. But he's an improviser, same issue. It's going to be very similar, but he does have a really good speed to throw power ratio. Kind of like a slightly better Vic. But in terms of quarterback guys, it comes down to preference. Do you want a pure pocket passer? Do you just want to be able to you know run a little bit do you want to purely run do you want to have a mix there's really no set in stone you know option right now again as long as he gets hot run master typically you could pick within that range moving on to halfback though halfback is pretty clear cut in my opinion uh personally you're going with this guy all the way down here edger and james edger and james 97 overall guys you can't go wrong with him now if you compare him to any of the other backs where we go into his stats you know, we have Corey Dillon, Jim Thorpe, but none of those guys quite compared to Edger and James, despite their uh, enormous price in comparison to him. You know, like very similar. Edger and James, the best back in the game. You power him up and cap him up, guys. He will have a 99 speed. Right there. We're done. Conversation's over. He's the fastest back. Um, you know, fastest good back, I should say. And then his acceleration will be a 97. His break tackle will be a 96. His change of direction will be a 97. So he'll be one of the most agile backs in the game right one of the best change of direction backs in the game one of the best break tackle backs in the game one of the tallest backs in the game one of the be better weight guys in the game he will have a 80 catch which means he's one of the best catching running backs in the game 91 trucking he's up there as a trucking back he will be the fastest back in the game as well as 88 strength one of the strongest backs in the game hey guys the list goes on and on uh he's 92 stiff arm which is a good stiff arm 95 jukes one of the best juking backs in the game it's just a no-brainer edron james is the best running back in the game not too much to talk about there. Again, fullback, not many people use him. Don't got to go over that. Wide receiver. Now, this is an interesting one, right? So, wide receiver is one of those positions. We're very similar to uh, a few other uh, positions right now. 
you're looking for a few things and that kind of applies to all of them now we don't have we have not reached 90 and then range yet i do imagine that will be soon now right now guys clear cut in my opinion best wide receivers now chase claypool with a power up would be the best wide receiver in the game so just keep that in mind for future references if he does get a power up he will make this list at the current time and state and time he's still one of the best ones because he does get all the great catching with the frame the weight and everything but without a power up you can't get sprint or any of that so right as of now guys if chase claypool does officially get a power up he's the best wide receiver in the game but we're gonna go with marvin harrison on this list marvin harrison is super good he does get 97 speed with like maxed out route running um great after the catch ability with change of direction great you know juke um he can catch he can do everything marvin harrison could be on this list so stock him on there and then the second guy is going to be of course the only the, the main guy here tyree kill he's insane he gets 99 speed he gets 98 powered up but he gets 99 sprinter so 99 speed all the catching route running thresholds and he has great great change of direction great juke he's gonna be probably be the best uh best receiver with the ball in his hand so there you go you have marvin harrison tyree kill and like i said claypool is my next one if he does get his power up of course uh randy moss is still on there because he is randy moss he's still gonna be somewhere in that list he only gets 96 speed though which does hurt him claypool would be way better if he can get a power up but that's better for the wide receivers and moving on to tight end uh, tight end you know you look for speed that's kind of the main thing we've been looking at all year so we have waller we have jared cook we have tony gonzalez Jermichael finley and vernon davis now darren waller team of the year will get 93 speed powered up but then if we come on down we have vernon davis who gets i believe 94 speed powered up vernon davis is the best back in the game simply i mean sorry best best tight end in the game simply put for a few reasons first off they may have better catching route running than him, but he does get threshold catching and route running, so we're not concerned. He can route run and he can catch. He will be the fastest tight end in the game, coming in at 94 speed and potentially 96, powered up and chemmed up, um, as well as getting 81 run block, which most other fast tight ends do not get a good run block. So he will be an elite, like oh, well, not an elite, but one of the most, one of the one of the elite uh, run blocking tight ends. So you can, when you're running all game with him or whatever you're doing, he's doing a job. When you have to run a route, he's also super deadly there. So there's no there's no liability in this game. That's kind of what you want in an ultimate team. A guy that doesn't pose liability. Like, oh, so on third downs, when you need to pass, like that tight end can't run routes. So he's just a blocker. But he's going to stay out there anyways, right? Or vice versa. On first down, we're looking to run. I have to take Vernon Davis out. You know, he's not that kind of guy. You can keep him in all game. All right, moving on, guys. We skipped the O-line, of course. We're on defense now. Defense, left end. Now, left end. You guys know the deal with, with Lyman right now. Similar deal coming down with uh left ends but we have Javon curse in the game right now so he's gonna take the cake but for the most part guys once they get all threshold it turns out to speed kind of been that deal now javon curse uh all rookie promo master and he's good he's really really good guys because of that speed again the issue with some of the speed guys this year they didn't get the great enough block share but he has it may not be max but he's gonna get 99 finesse move which is super important 99 finesse move with 93 speed powered up Technically, Chem Dub, he's going to have 95 speed with 99 finesse move pass rushing. That, that's that's absurd. That is one of the best ends in the game. If, well, the best end, probably. And then the block shed, the play wreck, the excel, the strength. You really can't go wrong with Javon Curse. Power him up, of course. He's a master. Now, right end. Right end, again. Not going to be as fast, I believe, as the left end. Because Javon Curse is just a freak of nature in terms of speed right now for an end. But right end, come on down to the guy. Who typically, you know, right now at least it'll be Aaron Donald or Chase Young. But Aaron Donald's not up on the block. So I'll start with Chase Young now. I'll compare them. I have my mud head over here ready to go. So Aaron Donald, right? So Chase Young and Aaron Donald. In terms of speed, Chase Young far and away beats him. He has plus six speed, uh, plus two excel. Now in terms of strength, Aaron Donald has plus 10. Play rec, um, let's see, let's see, let's see. Aaron Donald has plus two, plus three. Block shed, Aaron Donald has plus eight five four three plus three power move aaron donald has let's see Ooh, eight, eight better and then finesse move aaron donald is slightly less by two so if we're looking at the pure card right powered him chemed up aaron donald's gonna be a better run stuffer gonna probably be a better pass rusher or let's go with the same for a pass rush actually from a pass rush standpoint i give it to chase young because they're gonna have the same attributes for pass rushing except chase young's gonna have way better speed now, in terms of, you know, stopping the run, Aaron Donald's a complete package. So, if you if you think Chase Young can get it done in the run game, and you're, you're cool with that, then you go you go Chase Young, right? I think he can get it done. 
Chase Jacobs would be the better option in the run game. But the issue is he cannot get a power up. So that's going to hurt him. So if you if you care about the power up a lot, which I kind of do, I personally would take, in my opinion, Aaron Donald. Aaron Donald's going to be my guy because he can get a power up. He's going to be better in the run game. He's never going to be a liability in the field. Chase Young, not that Chase Young's not good in the run game, but Aaron Donald can get to 99 block shit if you do chem it that way, as well as be powered up and also get sprinter and also get up to 86. But you know, you can make up for the liability that he was comparing, you know, in comparison. So not up on the block right now, but again, super, super cool. Regardless, either one of the guys are going to be good for you. Now, defensive tackle, not a love position this year, if I do say so. Uh, a lot of people don't even use them. People don't care for them. Now, again, have they hit the 98 to 99 range? They have not. That is the thing, is that a lot of cars are getting in there. So, of course, this list is pending to change as we do get in there. We're, that's the next uh, tier we're going into. We're kind of oversaturating the 96, 97 range at this point uh, in terms of, you know, all these cards can be used. Now, I'm going to go probably Mean Joe Green here. Mean Joe Green's an all-around stud. He gets 81 speed, 90 excel. But he can get 99 power move or 99 block shot, depending. But everything's high 90. Every stat there is high 90 besides finesse move, which doesn't matter. We're going to go for power move here anyways. Every stat's going to be high 90, but the strength and everything. So he's super great. 81 speed, 90 excel for defensive tackle is good. Now, other options, if you did want to, you know, look at them. William Perry, going to have slightly less athleticism, slightly less good stats. In my opinion, I think Mean Joe Green's still better. But you do use two defensive tackles. And then we have Fletcher Cox, which in my opinion, again, I think Mean Joe Green's going to take the cake. Yeah, he's just more athletic. You really can't debate that. Athleticism's going to win a defensive tackle every time because they're going to do the same thing. They're going to have good power move, good finesse move, good block shit, right? But it's that it's that power. It's that uh, the speed. Sorry. Now left outside linebacker, another position that when you check the higher ranges, we don't have yet. So we're working with the 96, 97 range. Now, in my opinion, left outside linebacker is a tough spot right now. It's really not as crazy in you know in terms of any options. TJ Watt's going to be the guy though, just off that speed and athleticism. Uh, 90, 90 speed, 93 excel, while also coming in with can get 99 uh, finesse move and get 95 block shed while also having great tackle, great speed, great excel. He's a no-brainer, in my opinion. TJ Watt's going to be the up to linebacker, and he can be powered up, which is important. You know, some cards right now can't. Middle linebacker, we have gotten a few good ones. Again, another non lone position. But if we head on down, these are the new guys, right? We have Harry Carson for the Giants. Now, the issue with Harry Carson, he's 92 speed, which actually isn't bad. But if you were spoiled by Devin White and you're spoiled by strong safeties, that's why people don't like uh, middle linebackers. But from a pure middle linebacker standpoint, Harry Carson is one of the best. He's six foot two. He gets pretty much almost 99 hit power, almost 99 block shed. He's in the 90 zone. He can zone. He can he can hit and he can stop the wrong guys. It's gonna be the best middle linebacker in the game from an all around standpoint. Now, if we're looking at pure speed, again, middle linebackers themselves actually may not compete. It's more safeties. Like look, Tremaine Edmonds definitely not up there. And now, if we come up to uh, Patrick Queen, the new one, he may have the same speed, I believe. Uh, yeah, he's okay. So he's slightly faster, and he has similar hit power and block shed zone, but. Harry Carson's going to have better block shed, better hit power, better zone, and better strength. So, it's all, you know, if you have Patrick Queen, Rookie Premier, you can just, I would use both, right? You can do that. But if you're, if you're not using middle linebackers, which a lot of you guys aren't, probably doesn't even, probably not even applicable to you. Right outside linebacker, this one's tough. I love Lawrence Taylor. I do. I'm a Giants fan. He will get an upgrade pretty soon, guys, and be the best outside linebacker in the game uh, as soon as he gets his open legend. But for the time being, it's going to come down to Derek Thomas or Dalius Thomas, right? Now, Derek Thomas, he will get 99 power move. He will get 96 block shed with 93 speed and 95 excel, right? So, he's going to be crazy athletic, crazy good block shedder, crazy good uh, pass rusher. Now, Dalius Thomas does not get that same level of speed. Similar card, not the same level of speed. So, that's why Derek Thomas is going to take the cake there. That's the guy you want at that position. And moving on to cornerbacks. Cornerbacks pretty clear cut right now. I mean, a lot of similar cards all around. If we go on down, let's go check this out. All right, Nitrain Lane, got to be on your list, in my opinion. Nitrain Lane has to be on your list. No-brainer. No, no He's going to have 97, uh, 98 speed powered up and chemmed up with 99 press, 99 man, 98 zone, but his hit power, his, his catching's an 82, which is great, 95 jumping, which is great, agility 95, which is great, change of direction 95, which is amazing, juke 90, which is amazing, catch traffic 75 is good, 93 break tackle. Uh, hit power is a 95, guys. Like, you're, you're getting a linebacker at cornerback that also has safety speed. Like, you can't discount that, right? Next, you can pair him up with a few guys here. <sighs> this is tough. Antonio Cromartie, another guy. Gonna have 99 press, 99 zone, 99 man, 99 play rec, six foot. Uh, it will be six foot two with a 98 speed powered up and chemmed up, 90, 98 agility, 97 jumping. Can't go wrong with Antonio Cromartie pa uh, paired up with him. 
And then it comes down to two guys here. So we have an Amandi Asamoah. Um, Masamuaga, however you say. I personally think that although he's amazing and he has a six foot three height, it's gonna come down to him or Dion as the third guy. Now I'd probably go with Dion for the time being because I think Dion's getting the next card. You know he's gonna get an ultimate legend pretty soon. So as soon as he does, guys, you have a 99 speed, maxed out, chemmed up, even with 90 press. So I'd probably stick with Dion because of the crazy athleticism. But Imandi, he may be one, he may be two less speed than Dion, but I'm telling you, the six foot three frame always makes up for it. Coming on down, three safety. Now we just got a new Brian Dawkins. This new Brian Dawkins comes stock with 95 speed, 99 zone powered up and chemmed up. He will not get into the 90 man coverage, which is kind of hurt. He's good. He's not as insane as you would think, right? So now we, we look at that. So from that standpoint, maybe you want a guy with just pure speed, right? So you look at a guy like Eric Weddle and check out his speed. He does get the same speed. He does get the man, the zone, and 90 hit power, right? So if you guys are a proponent of hit power, it doesn't really matter this year. Maybe you take Eric Weddle instead because he has the man, the zone thresholds. And you know he has the same speed, but he has less, he has less height, right? And then if you really want to go even check out the Justin Reed, which is actually gonna even be the fastest option here, he gets 96 speed with 98 man, 99 zone, but he will not get 90 hit power. So it's all gonna be preference. If you want if you want a pure hitting guy, Brian Dawkins. If you want a pure coverage guy, you go Eric Weddle. If you want a speedy user, you probably go Justin Reed. That's kind of how I would do that. Now for strong safety. Let's go take a look. So Jamal Adams has been the clear cut guy for a little bit. Bob Sanders was good, but kind of tiny. Derwin James is really good. Jeremy Chin's really good. So again, in my opinion, okay, so Derwin James, right? He gets 97, 96, uh, he'll get 98 speed power to him, chemmed up in 98 Excel, uh, 99 man, 99 zone, 97 hit power. Gonna be the all around package. You compare it to Jamal Adams. Jamal Adams will get only to a 97 speed. So he actually has one less speed than Derwin James. He will, he will get 99 man zone hit power. Just same thing. They're going to be the same thing, but Derwin James actually will have be slightly faster. Derwin James will be faster. Now, if we compare the heights, I believe Derwin James is taller as well. Yeah, Derwin James, I think, is a little bit taller as well. So Derwin James takes the cake over him. But then the thing is now, are you going to be usering? Or are you going to be um, or are you going to be using the uh, letting the safety roam? Right? If you're going to be usering, if Jeremy Chin gets a power up and then at some point in the near future and you're usering, Jeremy Chin is probably the best uh, strong, sa uh, strong safety in the game. But for the time being, it's gonna be it's gonna be Derwin James. I'm rocking with Derwin. But yeah, that's about it for the video. This went on pretty long. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, turn that notification bell, give this video a big thumbs up. Like and comment goes a long way, guys. So comment down below who's your favorite player in this game at any position. Let me know. As well as like the video, and if you haven't already, check out my new point sponsor. If you guys have some of these cards, guys, check out their prices. You won't regret it. But don't forget to use code Poodle. So, additional discount. But that's it. Thank you guys for watching. I'm out.